Hey guys, this is just a quick video about an app I found last night while browsing the XDA forums called Lumos. Uh, what it does is it automatically increases the backlight brightness of your phone. Uh, the HDC HD2 does come with uh, settings to do that already, but they're not that good. I find that Lumos does the job a lot better and it uses a lot less CPU. Uh, I'm just going to go into the app now and show you how it works. Uh, when you install the app you have to run through the wizard and it gives you some settings that you can change uh, you know to get the app to your liking how, how you use it daily. The default settings that come with the app uh, I found actually worked for me but you know you can tweak them around a bit if you want. Um, I'm just going to go through the startup wizard so you install the application I'll leave a link in the description below uh, install it in cab form easy to install you start calibration and then it says you'll be detecting sensor minimum measurable value this will most likely be zero. Please cover the sensor with your finger for two seconds and tap next. So cover the sensor at the top of the screen. And now it says you'll be detecting sensor maximum measurable value. Please point the sensor very close to a strong light source, preferably a light bulb. Tap next when you can't reach any high value. So I'm not going to do that now, but you, that's what you're going to have to do when you run through the wizard. Uh, put it under a light bulb. I've already done this, so I'm just going to click next. Now it says please position yourself in an area with low light conditions or a shade. So the lighting that I've got at the moment isn't that good. So I'll just press next on that. And now it shows you a little demo of a web page. And here you're supposed to set the lowest light condition that you can read this web page at and I've got it set to the first one up so I'm just going to click next for my desired minimum uh, the backlight ceiling please position yourself in an area with high light conditions or under direct sunlight you'll be able to see a screenshot of, Google web of the Google website again this time set the maximum backlight the device can use higher maximum values will shorten your battery life so press next and I've got that set to one below the maximum press next and now I've successfully configured Lumos for my personal preference. You can repeat the wizard when you want and hit finish to save settings and start using Lumos. So you click finish and that's about it really. The app's configured just how I want it. Uh, you can go into the settings menu, like I said you can change some of the stuff but usually that's not needed. The wizard should sort it all out for you. Uh, you've got mode, uh, this changes the way the light actually increases the brightness um, but I'm not sure how to work this bit yet so I just left that as it is but as I said it works fine from the default settings um, the pre-application exceptions per, pre, sorry, per application exceptions uh, mm -hmm. from here you can put an application that you want to go brighter and darker uh, in certain light conditions so for example say YouTube, um, you want YouTube to be pretty bright if you're watching films outside and stuff like that so you can add YouTube to that and change it, change some of the settings around um, Windows, uh, this just detects the active Windows names so it shows uh, what's open at the moment I think that's so you can see you know uh, how much CPU the app's using and stuff like that um, I could just go back to the settings because I forgot to show you something. Uh, the options, I'll, I think um, on XDA they have posted some different options. You know they'll work for you. So I'll, I'll get those and I'll leave them in the description so you can, you know, mess around with the settings and stuff if if it's not working. Because people have reported that uh, some different settings are working better for them. But like I said, again, um, the stock settings worked fine for me. Uh, you can choose to put the backlight on on AC power which means obviously when you plug it in you can actually make the application work while it's plugged in 
which shouldn't usually be necessary because you're usually going to be in your house anyway and it's not going to be you know the sunlight's not going to be reflecting off your screen uh, yeah that's the main reason I got it really because you know I found that when I went outside the HD2 screen really does suck in that light and you just can't seem to see anything um, the settings that came with the HD2 weren't working you know my, my my backlight seemed to go up a tiny bit but it really wasn't working for me and um, Lumos when I found this is just what I needed and it works perfectly um, it does work on all other Windows mobile phones um, there may be some exceptions I'm not sure but when, I'll leave a link to the actual forum post so you can go check out if your phone's compatible uh, that's about it for this really uh, all I can say now is check out Lumos install on your device and uh, leave a comment and say if you like the video and what you think of Lumos. So remember, if you like it, comment, rate, subscribe, and I'll see you guys in the next video.